The year is 2777 and the Earth has been reduced to five small islands due to nuclear wars and natural disasters. These five islands formed a nation called Xexes and humans, fairies, and spirits lived in harmony for hundreds of years. One day, Xexes was attacked by Garuza, a mechanical fortress from outer space. Garuza murdered the King Ziu Star and kidnapped his daughter Maria along with the five queens of the islands. Battle soldier Apollo could not endure the cruelty of Garuza, so he put on his space battle suit and challenged Garuza's mechanical empire. Xexes is a half action platformer, half side scrolling shooter that was developed by Atlas and published by Hudson Soft in 1990. You play as battle soldier Apollo and you can fire your weapon with B and jump with the A button. You can also perform a high jump by pressing up and A. As you progress through the platforming sections, you'll come across doors you can enter. Some of these doors contain mini games, frogs that refill your health for a price, item shops, or mini bosses to defeat so that you can rescue this girl in her bathtub. Defeated enemies may drop L blocks, which restore some of your health, or E blocks, which act as currency. You can buy weapons with this currency, like the 45 ball, which bounces off objects, and magic items, like the mirror item, which creates a duplicate of Apollo, which stands on his head and doubles your firepower. You may also find people willing to sell you helpful information, er, wait, sorry, information. To gain entry to the mechanical fortress within each stage, you'll have to obtain a four star. These four stars are guarded by mini bosses that take the form of green statues spitting fireballs. The entrances to these mini boss rooms are hidden and you can reveal the doors to these rooms by shooting the correct set of star blocks five times. Once inside the mechanical fortress, you'll do some light exploring and eventually you'll encounter a vehicle called a cyborg rider. The cyborg riders come in many different forms of robot suit, a bird, a lobster, a dolphin and there's even a turtle once you get access to one of the cyborg riders it's time to blast off and shoot some bad guys in the side scrolling shooter sections in the shooter sections you can collect s power-ups to increase your speed or p power-ups to power up your weapon sometimes you'll come across a pair of doors at the end of one of these sections if you choose the wrong door you'll have to repeat the section again the shooter sections are pretty easy and fairly unremarkable aside from the fact that some of them crank up the scrolling to loot speed which will test your reflexes as you progress through the fortresses you'll eventually come across the giant disembodied head of King Ziu star who offers you a flying saucer which you can use to fly around the screen during the boss fights I had the most fun with sexies fighting these bosses you'll have to take down a giant hermit crab an evil lobster some kind of dragon creature with two giant guns and more to reach Garuza sexies is a fun game that just falls short of being something special the shooter sections are as I mentioned earlier unremarkable and the platforming is just okay it's not too challenging and the fortresses don't offer much in the way of exploration I feel like Zexies suffers from over ambition instead of being really great at one thing it just ends up being mediocre at several I give Zexies a run-of-the-mill three out of five